I do not know you, but I am your brother. You do not know me, but I am your protector. I will run into a burning building to save your life. Though I do not know your name, I will take a bullet for you. Though we've never met, I, I believe, believe in duty, duty and sacrifice of self. self. Your, your family, family is my family. Is my family. Your life is my duty. What's going on guys? Special episode today of Behind the Uniforms. Now typically this show takes place at the Whiskey Wall, but they're way underage. And so we figured we would take it off location. If you haven't caught the episodes with their families, I want you to tell them who you are. I'm Megan O'Grady and I have a nonprofit called Blue Line Bears and I make teddy bears out of the uniform shirts of fallen police officers. Tell them who you are. I'm Maxwell Landfrank. I have an all natural organic company and one line I make for police. Spectacular. So guys, if you've never seen the show before, the way that it works is this. Typically it takes place at the Whiskey Wall. We invite veterans, first responders, active, retired, doesn't matter. They come in, they bring a bottle of whiskey, we share uh, a glass and we share a couple of stories. They tell us about a good day and they tell us about a bad day. But we also, as part of this series, really want to feature and highlight some of the friends and family. Now these two, both of you, your dads are police officers, right? Mm -hmm. So Megan, why don't we start with you? Why, first of all, how does this whole thing work and why did you start it? Okay, I'll start with how I started it. Um, after the attack on Dallas last year, where, or not last year, it was 2016, um, where the five officers were killed, that kind of hit me hard because my dad's a police officer. And so um, I had to write an essay for school, and I had to talk about something that I believe in. So I talked about how I believe in law enforcement. And um, then I just kind of decided to turn it into this. And um, so when a police officer dies in the line of duty, we get their uniform shirts from either the family or the department. And we'll take the shirt, we'll cut it up, and we'll sew it together, stuff it, and then we do an embroidery where we put the name and number of the officer, and then their end of watch, this is the wrong foot, the end of watch date, and then blue line bears, and then the name of who it's going to. And then we put a St. Michael's medal on it, and it's blessed by a priest and given to the family. Awesome. Your turn. My company was started because I was a big germaphobe and my sister would eat my lip balms that weren't all natural. But Behind the Blue started because my dad's in law enforcement and there's so much bad stuff out there that I just needed to support them even more than I already did. So I made a lip balm and hand sanitizer and I visit police departments and hand it out. And when they sell, I get 50% of the profits to the cops organization. Awesome. So guys, first of all, how does it feel getting all of these eyeballs and exposure and people talking about all the good that you're doing and knowing that, that you're making a difference in the lives of police officers, first of all? Go ahead. Yeah? It's nice knowing that there's, um, well, part of the reason that I started this is because, similar to him, there's so much negativity aimed at the police, like at police in general. like. Um, I think one of the main things that, because I was going to write my essay on something else, one of the main things that turned me towards um, doing it on police officers was um, one day I was watching Fox News and um, there was a rally that was happening where they where people were chanting like, what do we want dead cops, when do we want them now? And so it's, it's really hard because there's so much negativity towards like the police in general and so it's nice to know that there's so much positive like that there are also a lot of people out there who support them and so it helps a lot. So Max you started this company and this isn't the only line you've got a whole bunch of products mm -hmm. too right? I got a lot of lines. Um, one of them my brother owns and then one of them is like a surfer beach line summer and then I got behind the blue and then the rest is just normal. So did you wake up one day and you're like, I'm going to be a little entrepreneur? Well, I've always been a wonderer. My mom and dad had to get me the big book of why. Excellent. Where do you want this company to grow into? Well, for behind the blue, I want other kids to just support police. But the company, uh, I got a lot of stuff. What's your website? My website's www.momaxivesback.com. Website? www.bluelinebears.org So is this the first time you guys are meeting today? Yeah. Yes. You guys seem to be getting along pretty cool. Mm -hmm. What's it like to find other young people who are standing behind the men and women in blue? It feels good knowing that you're not the only one. Yeah. It. Um, at my school, there's, I mean, people know about it, but it's not really like a big thing. 
but it's nice knowing that there are other people who are willing to take the same stance as me, even if I don't know them, and even if they're like thousands of miles away from me. Guys, for everybody who's harping on younger generations saying that they have no hope, I think these two are just indicative of the fact that there's so much hope out there. There's so much good out there. There are so many hustlers and entrepreneurs who are focused on patriotism and doing the right thing, standing behind the men and women who serve and protect our communities and our country. So guys, you are spectacular. Everybody watching, you better share this video because she came all the way out from Florida. He came all the way up from New Jersey. The least you could do is hit that share button. So thank you all for watching. Guys, thanks for thank coming. You and uh, hopefully you sell some products and hopefully you get some more support as well. So thanks, guys. God bless America.